Today is Monday, November 22nd, and you're listening to the morning announcements presented by Betches Media. I'm Sammy Sage, and this episode is sponsored by Uncommon Goods. If you're on a mission to be the best gift giver ever this year, Uncommon Goods makes it easy to find remarkable and truly original gifts for everyone. On Friday afternoon, after about 26 hours of deliberation, the jury in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial acquitted him on all charges, to the surprise of nobody. Within hours, Representative Madison Cawthorn got on Instagram and offered him a congressional internship. So you know we can expect to see him on the first presidential ticket he's eligible for after he turns 35. Next, we have another redistricted electoral map in a bad way. Republican Governor of Ohio Mike DeWine signed a new electoral map into effect for the state of Ohio. The new map is, of course, likely expected to increase Republicans' advantage by at least one seat in 2022. No Democrats supported the new map, meaning that it will only be in effect for the 2022 and 2024 election cycles, rather than for the full 10 years as a bipartisan map would. But at least Kyle Rittenhouse won't be old enough to run on those ballots. If you've been following the mysterious potential disappearance of Chinese tennis star Peng Shui, we have an update. According to the International Olympic Committee, a.k.a. the IOC, who we don't often hear from much outside of the Olympics, the IOC president apparently had a video call with Peng Shui where she told him that she was safe and well. She has still not been seen in public for about three weeks after she accused a former senior Chinese official of sexually assaulting her. Personally, I'll feel better when she's seen in public. How hard is that? And lastly, the city of Ann Arbor, Michigan, has officially become the first U.S. city to require free menstrual products in public restrooms. The city council unanimously voted to pass this ordinance last week, which will now require all restrooms in this community of 120,000 people, many of whom are college students, to be equipped with pads, tampons, toilet paper, and soap. See, this is the future liberals want, just some extra hygiene. Thank you for listening to the morning announcements. Uncommon Goods wants your holiday season to be stress-free, so check out their selection of thousands of items today. From art and jewelry to kitchen, home, and bar, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone. Not the same lackluster gifts you could find just anywhere. And to get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash morning. That's uncommongoods.com slash morning for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. Until tomorrow, I'm Sammy Sage, and now you know what the fuck is going on. Betches.